Namaste, I'm Dr. Sapurnana, and during a Kundalini session with me, we begin with the guided meditation followed by time for quiet contemplation, during which we share our concerns of the day with our higher self and ask for guidance. In this video, my client's higher self directed her to address some inner child wounds. What you... shows up was a, a, a picture of me when I was a child. I was crying, but then I was smiling. So you right? Were you were yeah. you're trying to be happy even though you were yes yes for my mom so the, the thing that i was just as simple as be a friend to that child in that photo which oh, i found it so hard you know i don't even know how to connect with that child basically you know yesterday in the message i i shared with you is i had so many inner child wounds you right. wrapped, and and for me the the process of healing has been about going back and befriending all of the the different younger versions of myself and sitting and I even there is an incident I had when I was eight when I was just so angry so angry but I had to hold it in and it's always stayed with me at the back of I journaled about it. Having had to work through inner child wounds myself as part of my healing journey after trauma it feels good to be able to share some therapeutic activities that I did that worked for me in reconnecting with my own inner child and that allowed me to find some peace. Namaste, I'm Dr. Saperna. Stay tuned to learn more about my five-step approach to healing inner child wounds. Oh, it's open? <laughs> Hi. <laughs>